Hello! Welcome to DIY Machines where today we're building this, a 3D printable battery powered hot wire cutter. It's brilliant for materials such as styrofoam and it doesn't cost more than £3 in materials to make. You'll need to print all of the required parts. There is a link in the description below where you can download them. First we will assemble the battery holder. Take a piece of wire with quite a lot of both ends exposed and insert it through the bottom of the case. Bend this wire back around and pull it through the other hole. Fold the wire underneath the battery holder and then insert the other end into the top of the adjacent battery slot. Fold the wire back onto itself and push it through the little hole as we did earlier. It should now cover both bumps. So far our circuit starts here, goes through our battery, round under this wire, through the next battery and then it will pass through this wire to the adjacent battery cell. Repeat with this wire what you did with the previous wire. This wire has one end more exposed than the other. The more exposed end will go inside the battery holder. Like the previous wire, this wire has one end more exposed than the other. And again, the long end is to go into the battery holder. With the next two cables, ensure one end has at least 30 millimeters of the wire exposed. The short end of the wire is the one you want to push through first. Only pull the wire through as much as is required so that the insulation stops at the opening here. Wrap the exposed end of the wire around the bolt. This second nut only needs to be done loosely for the time being. Repeat the same steps with two nuts and a bolt as we did on the other side. Trim the ends of the wires and then tuck the remaining strands between the bolts. Solder together the two wires on the right hand side. Place the button into its holder and then we'll solder this between the two wires on the left hand side. Tuck all of the wires in and secure them in place with some hot melt glue. This will also help to prevent any short circuits from occurring. All that's left to do is to insert some well charged or new AA batteries, screw on the cover, push the button and then you're good to go. Be careful not to touch the wire whilst it's turned on or for at least 5 seconds after you've released the button. If you'd like to see some more videos don't forget to subscribe and if you'd like to help support me please consider something on Patreon. Otherwise, ciao for now.